What the hell was that? It don't look like no reptilian. It looked like a roach or an ant or something by the mouth. That's what he looked like. What up, what if us? Welcome back to the channel. Today, you know, I got more crazy, weird, creepy TikToks that not even I would watch by myself. So you're going to want to stay locked in because you ain't going to believe this. I'm sorry. Did anyone else? Did anyone else see this? When the radio kicks in, it's 1619 megahertz. You don't listen to the radio in megahertz frequency. It's AM or FM. What is that? What is that? So good old Google, the first freaking search. There it is, 1619 megahertz, ceramic passive antenna. What is that? Here are the key features, passive ceramic antenna, embedded antenna, ground plate dependent. I don't know what any of that means. If anyone knows, like, let me know, but there's more. Applications, embedded antenna solutions, satellite, internet, transportation, agriculture, construction, marine, mining, literally everything. Asset tracking, security, remote monitoring and control, energy monitoring, satellite voice and data communications, satellite phones, like emergency and remote communications, oil and gas industry. Uh, we know that there's like a possibility of maybe a cyber attack happening and it happens to be on all of these things. Um, but that's nothing though, right? Like it. Am I looking too far into it? Like, I'm freaking myself out. I think so, And bro. is this the sound? Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but all frequencies, well, most frequencies like FM and AM, don't they go by megahertz? Now, maybe I'm, maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. I don't really, I never really paid attention to the radio like that. I don't know. I think so. I think she reading into it a little too much because I know like healing frequencies, they, they go in hertz, not megahertz hertz and then you got megahertz then you got gigahertz and i think it keeps going so she may got it confused i don't know what y'all think y'all get in the comments and let me know more and more i look at these nasa rockets the more evidence i gather and i just want to present this from my opinion you make your judgment but it's my opinion i've already gone over the angle this makes that that has to be a giant balloon but i want to show you something else that just further proves what my opinion is that these aren't rockets going to space. Look, it's starting to take its curve because it's going to come down to the ground. But watch this new thing here. Watch what I found. When you dig, you can find things. I want you guys to look at this part of the rocket, this reddish rust looking thing and look for identifying markings. Maybe this, maybe the box. Identify some markings, match it up to this. Because to me, they look very similar, if not the exact same thing, okay? So match up this to that. They look the same, I think they're the same. And now tell me that this doesn't look suspicious to you. This is supposed to be this giant metal object that came off of this rocket. Look how it's floating back to the earth. Does that look like something that is thousands of pounds going down to the earth? No, it looks like a giant balloon that's lost some helium or air and it's floating down. Unbind your mind. I could be wrong, but if you go back and look at that video, <clears throat> you could see how fast that thing was moving past the clouds, which means that it was out into the ionosphere about to re-enter, right? I don't know. I, I don't know. What was he trying to prove? I don't know. Y'all get in the comments and let me know. The legendary city of Agartha, at the center of the center of the earth. And at the center of that, the Vrilia. Unfortunately, the place is crawling with Vril. And I'm not hugely fond of shape-shifting reptilian humanoids. This should be interesting. Did you catch that? Do you notice how they set up the angle for their meal to resemble the Last Supper? Was it to mock it or an innocent mistake? What do you think? TikTok, this is for entertainment purposes only. Well, it certainly has been an interesting last few millennium. With this whole infiltrate the upper echelon of human society and manipulate them into destroying each other. Now, I've kind of just gone a little heavy on the political realm. Oh my god, it's a little sucky, you know. Who knew that social media was going to work? That was brilliant. Everyone too wrapped up in cat videos and sending to procreate said so think with their brains. Very nice. Sure helped with my case during the elections. <laughs> and you two crazy kids with your 
crusades and you've nothing like a little mom theism to throw people into centuries of battles over exactly the same ideology. <laughs> oh. Jellyfish UAP is legit. Let me explain. Military information said this object was jamming the radar. Thermal changing was super strange, and I came across someone who said they worked with some of these platforms and never saw anything like it. We also have three other footage accounts of these jellyfish, and I have these at the end of the video. Bird poop is the dumbest comment I've seen all this from the skeptics today. First off, a smear would be in focus. You would have to be zoomed out, and these weapon arrays can bullseye a target from 20 miles away. So if they're indeed tracking a UAP, smear would be blurred to barely noticeable, depends on the sensor size. And this is a little video just showcasing that very thing. And this is with an iPhone camera, let alone a, you know, lens that could potentially do 30,000 plus zoom or whatever the military has. The other thing is the object does move. And this wouldn't be the case if it was a smear. Plus we have different angles. It also, the thermal changes with the object, so that couldn't happen with the smear. You would have to heat up the lens that would destroy the equipment. Here's some different pieces of footage um, from all over, from different years, including one that's over 14 years old, and showcasing these, these jellyfish-like entities. <clears throat> hmm. Whatever it is, them dogs really see it. I don't know. Well, y'all get in the comments and let me know what y'all think that is. This dude just murdered this judge, homie. Like, this is what they mean when they say, let him cook. Check this out. To each charge, could be up to a $500 fine up to six months in jail. I do not understand any charges. I only understand universal law and the right to live. To live in peace guilty. and to live as I need to. You said not guilty in this in this. I court. never bleed. Animals bleed. So like ah, oink oink. I have a paper with uh. your signature on it, sir. It says prime evidence standing right through it. You bring forward all natural right. forms of evidence that I'm not prime evidence. I am the living soil. The dirt, the water, and the air has its own voice, does it not? It all supports sir? forms of life, does it not? I am a part of that life. I am not your corporate fiction. Sir? Do not danger me. You're here today on an omnibus hearing. You've already pled not guilty. I am here by special visitation to see to it that you do not danger my natural living man's name. Are you prepared That's why to tell I'm the here. court if you wish to go to trial on this matter? This is a trial. Tell no, me this stop. isn't a trial. Here's my this jury is an of my peers. Hearing, sir. You cannot produce a jury of my peers because all juries are selected from a pool of registered voters. And the instant a person registers to vote, that natural ability is a fear to comprehend. Natural law has been dissolved and turned into fiction. There Whoa. cannot be raised a jury of my peers. It cannot be done. Mm -hmm. Excuse me for just a moment. No way. Get back here and finish this. Hey, hey, get back here and finish this. The judge has left the courtroom. There you go. You have yeah. There is nobody in this courtroom. Yeah. The, the judge has yeah. walked out. Barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken. That's what she is. Barbecue chicken. <laughs> Straight up. Maybe filet mignon because, yeah, he didn't just cook her. He made sure that was a prime cut too. Oh, yeah. He filleted her. That was that was that was some nasty work. That was crazy work right there. Salute to you, brother. And I learned a lot in that video. That thing he said about your you cannot judge me or have me have a jury of my peers because once you register to vote, you all automatically take away your your natural way of being able to discern law well and all of that stuff. Like go, just go back to what he said. I can't say it verbatim, but yeah, that's true though. That shit is crazy, bro. How many cases would be overturned, or how many cases would have people won if they knew that delicate? delicate element right there so share this video that way people can know like once you have a jury in the courtroom can none of those people make a decision upon you because they were registered to vote that goes against what, what the whole proceedings are 
That's mind blowing, homie. I swear, man, it's the more you know. It's the more you know. The more words you know, the less they have a leg to stand on. Like, she got a stump right now. She don't even got a stump, homie. She just tumbling over. She ain't got nothing to stand on. That's why she ran out of the building. <clears throat> but yeah, man, knowing this type of stuff right here is a secret superpower, bro. Like, his level of confidence and his level of, you know, like, he was real stoic in there, too. Even though he was talking doing his thing, he was still, you know, upright. Like, asserting his dominance. That's what he did in there. That was, that was, hey, that was a pleasure to watch. That was a pleasure to watch. Now, I'm done. Now I want to hear from y'all, man. How do y'all feel about this? This was, to me, this was dope. And to me, this is information and something that every American needs to see. Especially, especially the melanated folks. Yeah. Everybody with color, for sure. Y'all need to see this. Because, man, I'm, I'm not going to get into the statistic battles and the, the rhetoric and all of that. We all know the game is rigged. But it's only rigged due to the knowledge that we know or the lack thereof. So, like I said, share this. Get this all over the place. Let me know what you think, how you feel. Drop it all in the comments. Yeah, that was a fact. It's called the, the Declaration of Human Rights. It's a book that you can read. They got all of these laws that constitute uh, the American people. But you definitely have to be, you have to be careful when using these things because they found loopholes that kind of go against the human rights laws, right? So, although... We didn't see the whole video, but although he was correct in everything that he was saying, I'm pretty sure they found him in contempt because they can do that. Now, if you're not afraid to go to jail, you could definitely fight it. And if you fight it, then eventually they have no choice but to dismiss it, especially if, if you're not guilty of committing any crime. So, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, we have rights, man. But over the years, just like, you know, I always say that those are the main things that we need to be worried about. Over the years, they have put loopholes in so many laws that they created because they didn't realize when creating the first laws that those laws would work against them because they never thought that people would actually stand up, you know, and try to use their constitutional laws or use their rights, you know. And, yeah, that's just one of them things. If you're not scared to go to jail, I mean, you know, I mean, they can't hold you forever. They can't lock you up for life because you didn't commit no crime you'll just be held in contempt then yeah fight that but i think the uh declaration of human rights is something everybody should read and know so you can understand how your constitutional rights work for you so hey y'all but y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think recorded there. And why the hell is there smoke in outer space? <clears throat> I ain't gonna say no more. My name is Carl Wolf, and I was a precision electronics with a top secret crypto clearance in the United States Air Force. I was stationed at Langley Air Force Base in Virginia. In 1965, uh, I was loaned to the Lunar Orbiter Project at NASA. They had problems with a piece of uh, electronic equipment that was bottlenecking their production of photographs. I went to the facility and when I walked into the facility, um, I was taken into the laboratory where the equipment was malfunctioning. Airman second class was in the dark room at that time. I was also an airman second class. Um, I was interested in how the whole process functioned, how the data got from the lunar orbiter to the laboratory. I asked the young man if he described the process to me, he did. So he said to me, um, in a very distressed way, we've discovered a base on the backside of the moon. And then he proceeded to put photographs down in front of me, and clearly in these photographs were structures, 
uh, mushroom-shaped buildings, spherical buildings, and towers. Um, I worked there for three more days, and I remember going home and naively thinking, I can't wait to hear about this on the evening news. And here it is, more than 30 years later, and I will testify under oath before Congress that what I'm saying is the truth. That video is clearly edited. There's so many jump cuts in it. I'm not trying to discredit the video or anything or what may or may not be, bro. But what you can do with, with editing these days is amazing. But y'all let me know what y'all think. No, there it goes. Finally, I knew I shouldn't go in. Everything was telling me not to go in that I needed to be recording. That's not lightning, bro. What the fuck is that? First it was blue, and up here, above my head, and now it's over there, and it's red. It's getting brighter and bigger. Do you feel that energy? Do you feel that vibration? Holy fuck, bruh, what are they doing? Oh my god, oh my god. Whoa, do you feel that? I'm not going inside. You can go inside. We got all this shit out here. Oh, God, I'm trying to get up these steps. I don't fall. Busting my ass. It's the last fucking thing I need. What? Did it go away? Yeah. It stopped when I got up here. Look. What the fuck? Is this from Magnet? There's some weird ass shit fucking going on. Y'all can say I'm crazy. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Believe what you want. Just been questioning everything since third grade. Yes, you should definitely question it was doing everything. The blue lights. It was doing them from right up here. Like right above us. Yo, this shit is crazy, bruh. Crazy. Y'all, y'all be acting like I'm crazy. Okay. Hell is that? that is y'all got any idea what that may be let me know it's insane <laughs> so the story is there's a secret tunnel built under a new york synagogue the police show up cement trucks come to fill in the tunnel soiled mattresses are pulled from this crevice young men then rip the walls down of this wood <laughs> paneling and break through the wall to try and occupy the space to stop the the uh, construction crews from cementing it in when the police show up Young Jewish men fight the police, and a dozen are arrested. And now everyone is saying, what the f is going on with secret Jewish tunnels in New York City? Yeah, that was pretty wild, man. 
I still wonder what in the heck could they have been smuggling through that tunnel? I really wonder. But they was fighting to keep that bad boy open, though. This is the secret tunnel footage under the Jewish synagogue in New York. Tunnel was used to reach an abandoned women's mikvah for secret unknown rituals. Mm. NYPD like, eventually made 10 arrests. Video showed several men arrested walk with through there, bro. The destruction inside a sacred space were painful for many believers who rushed to condemn cops' actions. It's still unclear what motivated the creation of the tunnel and why the men reacted so strongly to the arrival of a cement truck to fill the tunnel. Reports said the people behind the tunnel, it's unconfirmed if Israel or who and how many people are involved. But sources tended to agree that Jewish man began the tunnel within last year with secretly intentions. Mm, so much going on in 2024, bro. The veil is being lifted. The veil is being lifted, man. So an attack on U.S. soil. That's nothing new. We've heard that time and time again. But this is turning into a different story because now it is concerning a different party. Look at this right here. It says American Intel officials warn of risk of Hezbollah attacking the United States. Hezbollah is an Iranian backed group. Hezbollah is connected with Hamas, is connected with the Houthis out of Yemen. Well, guess what? The United States is being pulled in because we are potentially going to send additional funding to Israel. That funding to Israel is going to hurt Hamas, who they are attacking in Gaza. If we keep sending our U.S. Uh, military, our Navy, up and down the Red Sea, guess who it hurts? The Yemen Houthis, another mm. Iranian-backed group. So, of course, Hezbollah now wants to step in. It's getting real wicked over there. Getting real wicked. And the United States is the, the 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 eye candy for everybody right now. But the United States have created so many enemies, bro. So all I can do is tell people to prepare for, for whatever. Because you don't know. You don't know what's to come or when it's going to come. Super tired. <laughs> This look like a person standing up there recording with their phone, wind blowing in the hair. I don't know. If you do a comparison, it's about the same size as that one. You know, it's Looks like a tall, slender person just standing up there enjoying the view. I don't know, man. I, just, <laughs> I don't know. What y'all think? Is anyone else scared that we found out at the end of 2023 that there is a country controlling America? Like, a lot of people suspected it. But now we actually know that there is a little country controlling Not America. Not the country. It's little compared Not to America. The Population wise, little. Land size, but it is. little. This country, this country has insane amount of power over the U.S., insane amount of power over rail? social media, Are over mainstream rail? news, over corporations, it over taxpayer money. It real? They pretty much can call our government and make our government do whatever that small country wants. Our government almost seems terrified, and I say government as in the politicians in Congress, they almost seem terrified of this little country. Mm -hmm. And this isn't a conspiracy. We all, we have seen it every day. There's so many videos on here proving it with receipts. They're showing us links, everything. We're not in control of our lives in America. No. We are controlled wakey, wakey. by this small country that cannot be said. The country that cannot be named. Yeah. The country that cannot be Y'all know had. what country he's talking about. This country controls yes. us that much that we can't even speak their name. They're the lying. Lord Voldemort of the world. There's a reason why you hear me say Semitics. I can't say the other names or anything. I was on live and I said the J word. Pew pew. J pew pew. Right? I said that. I got flagged for hate speech. For saying 
a, re a religious people. Just saying the name. Just speaking the name of a religious people. Like Christian. You can say Christian. Go ahead and say that J word on live. Hate speech. What the fuck? You want to know what? Hold on now. Because I've said that we're on my page on this channel before. And I think it's just I think it's just the context in which you use the word. So if they feel like you're inciting a riot or you're about to say something bad about them, then no. But hey, what do I know? Because they don't want us talking about it. And let me just say real quick, it's not the country. It's not. If you guys want to fact check what the fuck we're saying, when... Xi Jinping came over to California. He didn't come there to see Biden. Look at more more of those pictures. He came over to see Bezos, Semitic, you know, Amazon, uh, C CTO, owner of Apple, Semitic. It's because the Federal Reserve is owned by Semitic. Yeah, and the politicians got to borrow from the Federal Reserve. Guys, it's not the government printing money and printing money and printing money. You, you, you guys know that, right? It's not the government doing that. It's the Semitic bank. So what does that mean? We already yes, do this. Yes. So every time you guys go and vote, like you think Trump's on your side? <laughs> How naive are you? <laughs> Why are you voting? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I think this uh, conspiracy theory stuff is running people a little nutty, but um, yeah, I don't put it past them at all. I know this country is being run by by a, a small group of people. We've always said it. It's, it. it's always been true. Like, like for real, for real. Like, you could say something about that. I mean, you could be the richest and most powerful person in the United States. If you say one thing about them, you're going to have to recant everything you say. That's power, dog. So you have to look at that, man. But uh, what y'all think, man? Some breaking news coming out right now. The U.S. and the U.K. are reportedly engaging in their strikes against rebel groups in the Middle East. This is the first bout of military action that we have seen since these groups have sent hundreds of attacks against U.S. military personnel. People from the U.K. and the shipping uh, lanes of the Mediterranean have been shut down. According to military analysts who are watching this right now, they believe that the next stage of this escalation is going to be a broader Middle Eastern war. Now, I don't know if you remember the uncertainty of times that came with our last couple of Middle Eastern conflicts. Oil is a big one here. You're going to want to start thinking about your gas getting uh, maybe a little bit put to the side, getting some stabilizer put inside of it. If you do live in a rural area or on some rural land, it would probably be a good time now to decide whether or not large container gas storage is something that's a viable option for you or diesel if that's what you use more often. Now, when considering this, you have to think about all the other things, including sabotage and attacks against these types of units. But it's just for some food for thought because this Middle Eastern conflict is going to blow up into something larger. Yeah. That's the stuff that we're being distracted from. It's small news like this that don't get the notoriety and the views that it should get because everything is being overcasted by the alien videos and the ghost videos and all these different things. Like, that should be, like, the least of our worries. Something really strange going on here. And if something ends up happening to me, I just hope that this video can maybe explain it. Okay, so I have these two mirrors in my room. As you can see, they're pretty normal looking mirrors. But I was cleaning and I had them kind of set up like this. And I noticed something really weird. Just watch. See, when you look through the mirror into the other one, it becomes like a window. And there's this huge warehouse grocery store or something down there. But wait, it, it gets even crazier. Watch this. for the moment of truth. Three, two, one. Whoa. What the hell? What 
is this place? Oh, this is Hello? definitely Hello? fake. How far does it go? She don't even sound like she in that place. I don't know. <laughs> y'all get in the comments and let me know what the hell y'all thought about that one. Footage of what really happened inside the Miami mall. TikTok deleted my first video. They don't want us to know. What the hell? But that ain't even the same mall. Egg now. Nah, man. I'm just trying to unpack the way that's that sounded um sir where are you specifics specifics would be good and if you tell me a national forest i swear so does anyone believe in portals and in the possibility of traveling to different worlds or even different dimensions through portals i do now can we open them i don't know about that part So did this man really travel to a different point on Earth, or a different planet, or even a different dimension? What do you believe? Light can't really get through. You're not going to feel anything, you're not going to smell anything until the surface is literally moved. This portal becomes self-sustaining for life. Taking samples of this water. It's unbelievable. It's so warm. It's almost like it's just untainted. You can't see it because the clouds are covering it, but there are two suns right off there. One, and there's a lesser sun, like right there. I think it's still Earth. It's just. It's Earth in a different time, maybe. There it is. Two suns. Crazy. Beautiful. Now I remember that dude right there who was doing who was opening portals with the with the with the use of sound frequencies, right? And they said that guy left and he was never to be found again. I mean, who knows? I mean, it's not far fetched, man. If parallel universes exist, there has to be a way to to create a rift between our universe and that universe. It has to be a way. And maybe he found it, you know? And even with the mall thing, people was talking about there was interdimensional, in, interdimensional beings. It could have been, right? I believe that there are such things as interdimensional beings. But what happened at the mall wasn't it. But I do believe in portals. I believe in parallel universes. I believe in physics, uh, metaphysics. I believe... All this stuff commonly comes back to the human consciousness and uh, what life is for us. I honestly believe that. But y'all let me know what y'all think.
I remember this clip. That guy died on national TV. Live. Yeah, that was wild. Yeah, that's wild. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me go back. Was that car already waiting there? No, it, it just pulled up. What? He's me walking. I'm walking. Look. This plane isn't moving. It's not moving. But it sounds like it's moving. Most of y'all know how I feel about my neighborhood, right? And how it's a fucking simulation. <laughs> like, literally, all the houses are the same, right? Why the fuck are all these white cars, like, dead ass? You guys see that shadow? Where? 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 Where are the clouds? Where are the clouds? in your mind <laughs> Damn. so last night in Florida apparently it was two different things in the sky and this is one of them right here morning live we have something in the sky again something is in the sky again don't know what it is <laughs> Florida sees so much stuff now, bro. And that's definitely space age. Live. We have something in the sky again. Don't know what the fuck it is. Oh man. What the things you see in Florida, boy. You see song every day, I swear to God, you do. I believe him. They asked AI generation, what would humans look like in the future? Check this out, it's wow, it's crazy. Look, look, look. But it shows the time lapse of what humans will end up being like, human evolution. We turn to fucking wires. Oh no. We turn to wires and now what does the wires mean? Think about it. What what do the wires mean? We just become technology. We become the simulation. Hmm. You heard about the AI that made their own language? You heard about that? AI made a language, my well, I'm about to tell you, I'm about to tune you in, bro. Yo, I what? Like, I can't believe I ain't talked to you about this yet, bro. I saw this on like Modern Marvels, one of those shows. Yeah. And it was like this guy who does uh, computer stuff. Yeah, I got you. He programmed AI and he was trying to make it smarter and, you know, just keep developing it. He developed it to react to human input and different interactions. So if something random happened, it would react like genuinely unique. He'd leave it on the entire night, entire day. So it keeps learning and keeps learning and keeps learning. And then he made a second one. He just, like, you know, copied and made a second one. They started having conversations 
conversations. Like, oh, are you an AI? Yes, I am. Ah, ah, whatever, right? Within like a week, it started to get out of hand. They were talking about nukes. Mm -hmm. If they're bad or if they're good. Yeah. And they're having controversy between themselves. And then the next day, they have their own language. Wasn't code. Wasn't computer code. Wasn't programming. Wasn't like an actual like dialect, like any like Chinese or Spanish or anything. It was nothing like that. It was his own computer language. Yo. And they're like, what the hell is going on? What are they talking about? And the two AIs wouldn't tell the programmers what they were talking about. That's crazy. They had to shut it off. I mean, you know, that's dangerous, especially if everything is ran off computer or Wi-Fi. <clears throat> So if the world's biggest nukes are ran off Wi-Fi connection or Bluetooth or some type of telecommunications, hey, I could launch those joints whenever they get ready and, and make it seem like China bombed us and it really was AI that did it. And now we finna go back and fight China and then there go your world wars. Crazy. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. It's becoming sentient and that's the scary part. Reptilian hiding. It wasn't hostile, it actually looked lost in any. What do you think? I really. Fortunately, since this footage was taken, the lady died. She died peacefully and her death was in no way connected to the event in this footage. May she rest in peace. See, it's a crazy ass video of a dude, well, a reptilian. Uh, he's showing off his tongue, you know what I'm saying? The reptilian tongue. But let's check it out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so the hell? What the hell was that? He don't look like no reptilian. It looked like a roach or an ant or something by the mouth. That's what he looked like. That was weird. Y'all know what that was or where that video came from? Get in the comments and let me know. I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna end it here. I don't know. These videos today, they have been kind of iffy. I don't even know really what's going on. How I get my videos, I just actually scroll. I don't really go and find videos or download videos. I don't do that. I just scroll on what what comes up, you know. And uh, videos today wasn't really pushing too much, man. But what I will say is, everybody need to stay woke, stay vigilant, get prepared, protect your family. And hey, if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Head over to the Discord, send me videos there that you want to see me react to. And remember, challenge the argument and not the person.